But if you regularly work out or are a serious runner, then, uh, then you just, or you just do some casual walking, you might need some high-tech, high-priced sneakers. But a shame on your reporter, Al Sunshine, found out in this exclusive News 4 investigation, you could be buying big trouble at a big price. Absolutely, Ann Cambrell. My shame on you investigation has found that you might be wearing some high-priced sneakers that could be bad for your health. Here's a question for you. Are you running on rejects? Shame, 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 shame on you. Norm McDowell had only put 45 miles on these Nike Max running shoes when she says the air support in one shoe went flat. It was during last fall's New York Marathon. After they went flat, I was in, in such a great pain that I went to the doctor. I couldn't run afterwards. What do you think caused the pain? Uh, the defect in, on the shoes. Good range of motion. She's just finishing up four months of rehab, and her physical therapist also thinks Nori's problem came from her shoes. He called the shame team for help. In your opinion, did those shoes cripple that person? Uh, yes, they did. Bruce is also a marathon runner, and he says he's seen more and more patients with injuries from their high-tech running shoes, the same ones you could be wearing for exercise or just plain walking. So what's the problem? Improper quality control, uh, improper manufacturing, manufacturing, you know, done all over the world, and clearly things are not being checked. Wilk says these Saucony grid shadows he just bought are defects too. In simple language, the shoe tilts to the side like a wheel out of alignment. So I took those same high-priced, high-tech sneakers to this foot doctor. These appear to be defective out of the box. Absolutely. No question. No question. The midpoint here is angled so the foot would hit the ground turning in. And on this one, so the foot would turn out. So what you would essentially have is someone walking with one foot turning one way and the other foot turning the other. And, you're, and what could that mean to you if these were your shoes? Uh, usually they develop enough symptoms to stop using them before it would cripple them. What kind of symptoms? Uh, pain in different joints, knee, ankle pain, heel pain, tendonitis. Could you be running on rejects? The shame team checked out some of the same stores where you'd probably shop. With Bruce Wilk, I checked out some sneakers at Florida City's Nike outlet and it took us less than five minutes to find these new Air Trainer Maxes for $89.95. Just look what he spotted, this pronounced tilt. In your opinion, is this a defective pair of sneakers? Yes. What kind of potential do these sneakers have to injure somebody wearing them? Great potential. So what's the management here got to say? Yeah, Are you guys selling defective products? Um, you, can't the the, you can't turn the camera on in the store. Outside, here's what he told me. Are these defective sneakers? They are not. You sure that? Positive. Nike officials say bad sneakers do not make it to the marketplace. But when I took these brand new shoes to Dr. Josh Hamp, he also said the shoes did not line up straight. So you'd probably develop things like medial knee, knee pain, ankle joint pain, and tendon, tendonitis. Are um, these defective products in your opinion? Absolutely. And when the shame team checked out sneakers at this West Aid Sports Authority, just listen to what salesman John Nichols had to say about defective sneakers. I would say offhand, three out of the ten. So you think as high as 30% of the sneakers on the market may be defective? Absolutely. Is the problem getting better or worse? Absolutely worse. Nike insists defective products don't get to their stores, and Saucony says its defects are not on the market either. The company declined further comment without seeing the actual shoes, and you can be sure I'll let you know if either company has anything else to say. But listen up. We found the problem is more widespread than just these two manufacturers. And one more thing, Nike says if your air supports get punctured or deflated, you should stop wearing them immediately and return them to the factory. Ann Kembrell, back to you. Just assume they're okay, Al. Well, thank you very much. Good thank information. You. Thank you.